The title, New Image Sculpture, is very direct because it's sort of telling us that it's fresh, it's recent, it's contemporary, it's going to be three-dimensional, and that it's going to depict something real. To me, it just seemed to, to kind of sum up everything what I was interested in kind of portraying it to the audience. This exhibition came together out of a long kind of research process. I started to see this kind of approach to work where artists were all making work that had very similar feel. And the kind of binding element was that they all were replicating things from the real world. And often their creations were using materials that were not necessarily art making materials, but kind of more like craft materials. And there was a real kind of spirit in this work that seemed to connect all of these unconnected artists. There were some artists who were interested in proposing new works specifically for the show. We commissioned two artists to make new work. One was OK Mountain, which is a collective of 10 artists based out of Austin, and then Jay Townsend, who's an artist who lives in Brooklyn. So it's this sort of quickly made fabricated furniture out of really you know, old and crappy materials. Then on the other side is the motorized plate layers trolley where uh, two figures push and go nowhere with square wheels and poke and punch each other in the eye. Things are laid out in a strange narrative that then the viewer can then put together. So as you go different places, something else will catch your eye that'll pull you further and then pull you further into it and pull you inside this room or around this object. You know, it's, it's essentially, I, th I feel like artwork has, has a role as becoming sort of a, a vehicle for communication, a vehicle for a constant dialogue. Jade's work, I can completely relate to because it's just, uh, he has that similar kind of like, I need to make one of these, and then you just go and then you make it, you just churn it out and like, there you go, there's one, and then you go on to the next one. I really like that kind of hand-drawn element in the comparisons between both of our works. What interested me about the materials that I use to make sculptures is that they're readily available, easy to manipulate, and create what I want rather quickly. I mean, no matter how finely you use them, they still also give you the evidence of my hand making them. The images I choose are part of my landscape. I see these things and point them out and then change somebody's walk down the street, which is kind of the, one of the cool things that art does is makes people walk down the street a little different and see stuff differently. One of the binding characteristics of the work is that the images are all things that we know. They're very familiar and they're very accessible to people. So in a way, I feel like it's a very democratic kind of approach. You can still connect with the works in the show because they're something that you experience in everyday life and that was very important. Over the course of installing the show, we have brought a number of artists in to either create things in the galleries on site or to reinstall work they had installed before. The piece that's in this show is called Árbol de la Vida, John Deere Model 790. It's a work that addresses a very traditional Mexican craft theme, which is the Tree of Life. The other thing that's being represented here is the agricultural industry that hires so many migrant workers in the United States. So it's a piece, it's kind of a hybrid of these two ideas that come together. It's my version of the Tree of Life. The work is, is in, in such a scale that it immediately draws you in to the details of it. But I think what would be really interesting is for people just to recognize the amount of work that went into the making of the piece and the sort of representation of all the people that are behind this work. There's a whole world behind this tractor. I connect with the rest of the artists because we're very conscious of the way in which material speaks to a sculpture or a work of art. So you have this material that has such a purpose that then gets transformed in order to produce different visual metaphors really to transmit the ideas in the work. I think there's definitely much more of an interactive quality to the entire exhibition. I think that will get people having conversations and responding and questioning maybe why some of these things are in a museum and why these, some of these things are art and why an artist would be compelled to make certain things or even for the audience to sort of question, are these things really made from those materials? They look so real in a sense that they question how could an artist see that and make that in that sort of material.